Pitch correction is a massive part of modern music production, regardless of the genre you're in. And there's multiple tools out there nowadays, and it's become a bit of a blurred field in knowing what works. I myself mostly use the Logic stock one, but I have wondered, are there way better options out there? So in this video today, I'm gonna test out some of the ones that are the better regarded options and stack them all up in one track. On test today, I'm using the Logic stock as our bland, this is what I would always have normally had to work with. We've then got Nectar 3 using just its pitch correction module, but it is a whole vocal suite of plugins, but we're just looking at that one aspect of it here. Then we've got the big contender, which is the Antrius Auto-Tune Pro, which is effectively the namesake of vocal pitch correction. Then we've got the Waves Real Tune Live, which does mostly the same thing. And then we've got a third party lesser known option that has a free version. So we've got another option there in the bag for free if we want, but there's a paid aspect to it as well. And that is Gralion, Grillion, Gralion. I don't know, I'm British, I can't say it. So just so that you know what to expect in the video coming up, I've taken a vocal section out of one of my tracks. And to start off, I'm just gonna go through each plugin and show roughly how I've set it up to get a proper approximately the same sound. So the first run through, the vocal will be completely naked. Me personally, I think this is most important in context. So after that, we're gonna have a listen with my processing on and see which one has then improved and sounds the best in context. And then we'll have a listen in context of the whole mix. So here's what we've got in Logic. We're looking at this block of vocals here. It's just the same thing duplicated over and over. So we've got Stock, Nectar, Antrius, Waves, and Gralion. And I've missed the R, so it's Galleon, but hey. So let's just open it up real quick. The track here is in A sharp minor. So here we've got Natural Minor Scale is one that sounds the best or works the best with the default Logic. In terms of its vocal range profile, and profile can be kind of important. It depends on whether it's like a low baritone voice or a much higher up voice as to how it captures the um, harmonics essentially of a vocal to then correct it and tune it. Track time wise is 174 BPM. So around this range feels about right musically. Tune wise in terms of octave, we just keep trying to keep it in tune. We've got some more settings to go in with this, but as you can see, we've kept it with the mid. We're not using that high um, key scale. A sharp minor, it only gives you chromatic main minor or major options here in Nectar. Auto tune, we've got even more options. So key wise, it currently says B flat minor, but that is a sharp, okay? So it currently says B flat minor, that is a sharp, it's just how it displays it here. Scale wise, we've got all the more complex options. Timing wise, it works a little bit different. We have the retune speed over here. This being slowest, this being fastest. Uh, dialed it back to about the 20% marker. Seems to sound about right. Similar kind of thing, just knobs in different places. So speed wise, we're gonna bring this round into sort of the 80s and make sure it sounds about right when we listen to it. But keeping with that kind of like mid tone that I've done with everything else, we're keeping it on generic. And the last one, Gralion, to set our pitch it's this little icon just down here so we can go and do a sharp and minor and that'll do a sharp minor for us like so and dry mix we want this to be all the way down it's not a wet so this is how much of the dry you would then push through so we just want that to be left all the way down and that does actually keep it as wet okay we're going to listen through now completely naked um, I'll let the passage run through and then just move on to the next one the next one the next one and then I'll jump between a couple so we can get some comparisons of sort of start and finish you know say auto tune up against Gralion for example. I should have seen it coming. I didn't see a thing. You lie right to my face when you're supposed to be my him. I should have seen it coming. I didn't see a thing. You lie right to my face when you're supposed to be my him. I should have seen it coming. I didn't see a thing You lie right to my face When you're supposed to be my him I should have seen it coming I didn't see a thing You lie right to my face When you're supposed to be my him I should have seen it coming I didn't see a thing You lie right to my face When you're supposed to be my him I should have seen it coming, 
I didn't see a thing. You lie right to my face when you're supposed to be my him. I should have seen it coming. I didn't see a thing. You lie right to my face when you're supposed to be my him. I should have seen it coming. I didn't see a thing. You lie right to my face when you're supposed to be my him. I should have seen it coming. I didn't see a thing. You lie right to my face when you're supposed to be my him. All right, so all in all, all pretty close, right? There's no massive difference. There's a little wobble here and there, especially in Nectar, I can hear. And I think overall, Auto-Tune is the smoothest sounding and most natural sounding. But overall, they all sound very similar and very close, right? There's some phrases in this passage a little bit further up where it wobbles quite a lot more. There's a natural vibrato to the note and you can hear a lot more difference in the performance here. Listen to this. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Now the stock one does an okay job, but Nectar for some reason butchers this bit of vibrato. Listen. Yeah, you play the others too. 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 Yeah. So here, with this note that moves in and out with a bit of vibrato, Auto-Tune and Waves Tune both do a really nice job, and then Galleon struggles with it as well. So the first one now is the vocal as it is in this track. And if you wanted to hear this full track for context over everything, it's distributed to all the major platforms using my distributor, which is DistroKid. They allow me to get my music out to all of the major streaming platforms at a price an independent artist can easily afford. If you'd like to learn more about getting your music out to all of those major platforms, check the link on screen or below in the description and also pick up a discount off your first year of unlimited distribution. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Yeah, you play me every time. You play me like a fool. Yeah, you play the others too. Now with the processing on, even the Logic stock one, which is what I used in this track, still has that little kind of wobble towards the end there, but it's definitely more pronounced with Grallion and with Nectar, with Waves and Autotune doing the best job. Now what about in context of the whole track? How noticeable are those differences?
auto-tune is doing the best job, especially when the whole thing comes into context of the whole track. So in this track at the time, I used the Logic stock because it got me near enough and well, that's what this track was bounced down with and I'm still happy with the mix on this track. But I can hear a night and day difference between what the auto-tune one's doing and some of the others are still struggling with that little wobbly note and that happens a few times in this track on different sections. Now, in my opinion, the runner up to that is definitely the Waves live tune doing by far the second best job. If I was to A and B the two, for me, auto-tune just about takes it and everything else is below those two, but those two are just standing night and day above. The difference obviously being the price point and accessibility, but that depends on what you see is most valuable. Bear in mind that Waves also do subscription plans that may include the Waves tune as well. But I really hope that's been helpful for you in giving you some insight into it. If you wanted to see more of an in-depth comparison with Auto-Tune and the Logic stock processor, you can watch this video here where I just compared those two side by side on a different track. Hope that's helpful for you too. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.